turkey cross the road? Hmm. I have a I have a guess, but I'm gonna let everybody else guess. Mason, it looks like Mason has a guess. Mason, you want to guess? Can you unmute yourself, Ben? No. Do you know? Uh, let me see if I. Can un um, it's not letting me unmute you either, Mason. You have to do it on your end. Do you know how? Mm. Mason, do you have an adult there with you that could show you how to unmute it? Oh, he got it. Right on, dude. What did uh, you say? <laughs> this is not Mason. This is Parker. Oh, Parker. Sorry, what? Parker. Sorry, Parker. That's okay, what is your guess, Parker? Like, I was like, is this a girl? And you like said, a new and that and it's like okay parker do you have a guess for the joke bud yes but oh, mason, right. mason might call, come in like okay. come on to the screen he might okay he might. okay <laughs> because he was killed because he was scared no he didn't want to hit get hit by the car. He didn't want to get hit by the car. Grace, is that the right answer? No. No. Okay. What does anybody else have a guess? Why did the turkey cross the road? Kamari, would you like to guess? I do. Hold on, Kamari's gonna guess. Um hmm. Hmm. To not get hit by the cars? No. Another guess. Not gonna get to cars. So I'm gonna let Victoria go. And then if Victoria doesn't guess it, then Grace gets to tell us the answer. Go ahead, Victoria. Because as he was too afraid. Because he was too afraid. What do you think, yeah. Grace? No, I know the answer and it's okay. not that. Okay, Grace, tell us the answer. Because it wasn't a chicken. Oh, because he was <laughs> Chicken. He was a turkey. Oh my goodness gracious. You guys are funny. Okay. I brought some jokes. Okay. But as we wait, we're going we're gonna to wait maybe like two more minutes before we actually start with class to make sure everybody gets into the class. This is a really big class. What I'm seeing is probably there's like 31 kids in this class. Okay. So not everybody's going to get to tell a joke today. But everybody in this class that normally is here, you guys know I try to be fair. I try to let everybody have an opportunity and I try to let everybody have a chance. So if you don't get a chance this class, then when you come next week, okay, then you have to remind me and then you'll get a chance at some point, okay? But it's really hard with, um, it looks like now 33 kids in the class. It looks like me. Everybody to have. Okay. So a reminder, Michaela, Michaela, I see you raising your hand. Michaela, I'm gonna put you on mute real quick, but uh, and we can ask questions in just a second, okay? So I am going to okay. go through, my goodness gracious, there are a lot of kids in this class today. Okay, I'm gonna tell a couple jokes, okay? And if you know the answer to the joke, I want you to raise your hand, and then when I call on you, you can unmute yourself. Each joke, we're going to give three guesses because if we keep going, then we're going to use up our whole class time for joke guesses. And that could be a whole class by itself because everybody loves jokes. Okay. So I'm going to tell a joke. Which, well, okay. Ready, ready? Here we go. Yep. Well, call a deer that has no eyes. What do you call a deer that has no eyes? No, don't unmute yourself yet. Raise your hand, raise it like this so I can see, and I'll call on you, okay? I see Dash is raising his hand. Dash, would you like to guess? What do you call a deer that has no eyes? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Uh, eyeless deer. An eyeless deer, that is a good guess, but that is not the answer, sir. Thank you very much for guessing. All right, let's see. I see Miss Faith raising her hand. Faith, go ahead and unmute yourself. All right, go. Okay, we're unmuted. You're unmuted. I can hear you. Okay, how about a deer in the headlights? Ooh. 
Getting creative there, getting creative. Good answer, not the correct one though. We have one more guess. Let me flip through and see if anybody else is raising their hands. I see Jack. Jack, would you like to try to guess, what do you call a deer that has no eyes? What? Yes. what do you mean? Yeah. One more time, babe. Yes. What do you call a deer that has no eyes? Do you know? A dry eye deer. A dry eye deer, I like that guess too. Okay, that was our three guesses, ready? Who's ready for the answer? Okay, we ready? What do you call a deer that has no eyes? I have no idea. I have no idea. Right? Oh, mind blown. Pretty good joke. You'll have to remember that one and tell it. <laughs> that deer. Tell it to an adult that you see today, okay? I have no idea, okay? Um, let's see, I'm gonna do one more, three guesses, and then we're gonna start class, okay? What do you get when you cross a pig and a dinosaur. What do you get when you cross a pig and a dinosaur? Raise your hand so I can see you. Raise it really high so I can see. And then I'll call on you. If you have already guessed today, you got to put your hand down because that means you already had a chance today. Okay. So let's see. I see. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to say this right because I believe this person is new to our class, but I'm going to try. Um, Ernie Schroeder. Yeah, Ernie, do you want to guess? What do you what do you get when you cross a pig and a dinosaur? A pig a thor. A pig a thor. Of course, that's a really fabulous guess. Thank you, Ernie, for guessing. That is a fabulous guess. Not the right answer, but we're gonna try it again. Geo, what do you get when you cross a pig and a dinosaur? You gotta unmute yourself, bud. There we go. Uh, no, you muted yourself again. I can't hear you. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, okay. A pigosaurus. A pigosaurus, also a very good answer. Not the correct one, though. I'm going to flip through. Let's see. Um, who has not guessed that has? Okay, I can't even ignore this because James, Abby, and Layla have all three of their hands up. So please tell us if you know the answer to what do you get when you cross a pig and a dinosaur, guys? Um, a, a pig, a toss. A <laughs> pig, a toss. Man, you guys are super creative. So what do you get? Um, Oh, are we guessing again? I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, that's all right, James. No big deal. A crossosaur. A crossosaur. Also a very good guess. Okay, so anybody else that's been added to this um, group recently, we are telling jokes really quick before we start our class. The joke that we're on now, right now, is what do you get when you cross a pig and a dinosaur? And we had our three guesses, so I am now going to share what the answer is quietly because I can't hear you anyways because you're on mute. Drum roll for me. Everybody drum roll. Drum roll. You get a Jurassic pork. Oh, Jurassic pork instead of Jurassic Park. Pretty good, right? All right, guys. We are gonna get started in class today. I know that's a little less joke time than we typically have, but um, I wanna get us started in our new series, okay? Who's super excited? Raise your hand if you're excited for this class. It's a lot of fun. If you've never been in our classes before, um, you're never gonna wanna miss one after this class because we learn a lot, we have lots of fun, um, we tell jokes, and I'm kind of silly. So, you know, that's always fun for a teacher, okay. Let me get my screen shared and hopefully technology, you know, helps us today because sometimes I have to deal with technology and it's not fun. And you guys have all been there when I've had issues before. Um, but hopefully it's going to work today. It's looking like it's going to work today, guys. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so we are learning today about animal and plant classification. This is a whole series 
eight classes all together and today is the very first one so lucky you you didn't miss out on any of the classes okay let me just take one break really quick and see because i have some stuff going on in the chat room i want to make sure that i see everybody everybody's saying hi hi michaela i see michaela i see victoria everybody's saying hello everybody wants to tell jokes i know i promise we'll try to save some time at the end okay um let's see okay it looks like okay all right it looks like we got all nice and caught up okay so we're gonna get started but before we get started i want to make sure that everybody understands and i think you've already got it before now you probably know everybody's on mute except me so you can hear me i cannot hear you if you need me and you're like, Miss Sarah, I'm like, I have no clue what's happening. I'll be like that, no idea what's happening because I cannot hear you, okay? So what you have to do is you have to raise your hand and shake it around like this, okay, if you can. And I'm gonna always try to go through and see if anyone's shaking their hands like crazy so I can see you. Or if you wanna put something in the chat function, then you can type something in like, Miss Sarah, I have a question and I'll try to get to you too. Um, you can also use your raise your hand function on Zoom if you know how to do that. I am going to do my very best. Like I said, this is a very big class of kids. And so I will try my best to pay attention to everyone and give you all your answers. If you don't get an answer in the middle of class, make sure that you ask me at the end of class when I say, hey, does anybody have any questions? Make sure you ask the question, okay? Because I will give you the answer if I have it. Got it? Okay, so we know everyone's muted. We know we have to use the chat function. And then the biggest thing is, uh, is okay, I put me on mute. So make sure we keep ourselves muted, all right? So everybody can um, hear me while we're talking. All right, so everybody, Hello. we, I hear somebody talking. Somebody's oh not. God, I had so many calls. Okay. Um, today we are going to learn this cool word. It's called taxonomy. It's a really big word. Try it. Try and say it with me. Tax on a me. Everybody say it. You don't have to mute yourself. You don't have to unmute yourself. Just say it. Taxonomy. I can't hear you. Oh yeah, you're muted. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Taxonomy. It's this weird branch of science where they talk about classifying things, okay? They talk about putting them in groups and how are they similar and how are they different? And that's actually what we're gonna learn about today. We're gonna learn about why you would do this and how you do this and how this was created, this ability to really create groups within these plants and animals so that we can understand them better. Got it? Got it. Okay, so this is a new function for me. I'm going to see if I can make this work for you guys today. Everybody should see some animals on the screen. What it was, um, let me get so you guys can see my mouse. Okay, what is this animal right here? Everybody say it. It's a bear, right? How about right, this one right here? Horse, fabulous. Horse. Cow, right? Cow. Here's a cow. Fish, fabulous. Fish. Whale. Whale. And a bird. Now, my test. I can see someone in this class is <laughs> so that means I can hear you perfectly fine. So we're gonna find flip through real quick. Make sure you double check. Make sure you muted, okay? Because it makes it hard for me so everybody can't hear. I can see Kamari. Kamari, I love your glasses. You're rocking those glasses, girl, okay? I absolutely love them. Uh, um, let's see, I think everybody is muted now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna ask some questions about these animals, okay? Um, and I, let's see, I think what I think I'll have everybody do is use the chat function, okay? Um, so if you know where the chat function is on your computer, make sure that you're ready to use it, okay? Um, we're going to go through each animal. We're going to ask these questions. Where does it live? The land, sea, or the air? What type of skin does it have? Okay, does it have fur or does it have scales or does it have feathers? Is it bigger or smaller than a person? And what kind of babies does it have? Living or eggs? Okay, we're going to do this pretty quick. So let's start with the bear. All right. 
does the bear live on the land, sea, or the air? Let's go ahead and type it in the group chat. You don't have to type the whole word. You could do like L for land, S for sea, A for air if you wanted to, okay? I hope everybody gets this one right because I don't think I've ever seen a bear swimming in the ocean. I mean, that would be kind of crazy. There are polar bears, but they still live on the land, right? Okay, so we know that um, bears live on the land. All right, fabulous. What type of skin do they have? Okay, we know that bears have, hopefully no one says bears have feathers because that would be kind of funny. Um, bears have fur or have hair, however you wanna say it. Um, let's look at this one. Now, is it bigger or smaller than a human? That's kind of a tricky question with a bear because I think it might depend on what type of bear you're talking about. But let's see what the group chat says. Bigger or smaller than a human? Bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, everybody's saying bigger. I got it, I'm gonna write bigger. Okay, we're gonna write big. And then what kind of babies does it have? Does it have living babies or does it lay eggs? Living cubs, oh, somebody even called cubs, very good. Living, 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 fabulous. Man, you guys are on top of it. We're gonna write live babies. Okay, moving down to the cow. Look at that cute cow. Did you know, some of you are new to this class, Oh, I see Miss Amy Jarjusi. Hi, Amy. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a cow. For some of you that are new to this class, you may not know that. Some of you that have been in my class for a while now, we talk about animals quite a bit and you guys have seen my cow, but I actually have a cow in my backyard and I milk my cow every morning and it gives me milk and it gives my family milk and about six or seven other families milk because it gives so much milk. So my cow is not like this cow. It's not a white and black cow. She's all brown and her name is Phoebe. And she has a little baby and his name is Joey. So we have Phoebe and Joey in our backyard. Uh, maybe at some point I'll get to show you guys. So let's, let's talk about cow. We should be able to go through this pretty quick because you guys understand how this works. Land, sea, or air? Right? Land, I hope everybody says that. Um, type of skin. Feather, fur, or scales? Feather, fur, or scales? Yeah, fur. I mean, fur, hair, yeah. All right, good job. We're gonna say that. Okay, bigger or smaller than a person? I know the answer to this one because I'm out there with my cow every day. Bigger or smaller than a person? Yeah, definitely bigger. There are some cows that are smaller, um, but definitely bigger for the most part. Live babies or eggs? Live babies. I mean, I'm not even sure I'm gonna teach you guys anything here. I'm not, that's not true. This isn't our main lesson. This is just the fun part. All right, you guys did it. We did bears, we did cows, we're on to whales. Let me double check. I'm adding, somebody else is adding into the class real quick. All right, we're in whales, a little bit different now. Land, sea, or air? See, fabulous, because if I saw a whale in my backyard right now, I'd be kind of freaking out. Um, type of skin, fur, feathers, scales? Hmm, that's kind of tricky. I'm not sure that that really fits under any of them. Yeah. I think I saw Mason and Park <laughs> blubber. I love that answer. Hair, not scales, skin, scales. I'm okay. We're going to write a couple different words because I'm seeing lots of really cool feedback. I'm going to write blubber and then I'm going to write skin and then I'm going to write hair. I'm going to spell it right though. Um, because these are all things that I saw mentioned for this one. Okay. And it's a little bit tricky. Um, bigger or smaller than a person? Big. <laughs> I don't know who said that, but you're right. <laughs> bigger. Okay. Now here's a tricky one. Live babies or eggs? Live babies. Live babies. Yeah. Fabulous. I think we're unmuting. Um, and I can I, like it. Yes, Michaela. Can I share a fact? Not, not, right, not, not yet, Miss Michaela. Okay. In just a little bit, we're gonna get through this chart first, okay? All right, good job with the whale. We had some questions about their skin type and that's okay. All right, let's look at horse. 
All right, let's look at that big horse. Fun fact, I also have a horse in my backyard. All right, where do the horses live? Fabulous, I don't even have to ask you guys and you're already typing it in. I already see land, I already see fur, I already see big because you guys are on top of it. Now, how about their young? Do they have live babies or do they lay eggs? Live. Live, yes, absolutely. I don't, I think it would be really weird to see a horse egg. Could you imagine how big a horse egg would have to be if they laid eggs? Craziness. Would it be big? It would have to be big. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's look at our fish now. All right. Land, sea, or air? I don't know. Sea. Sea. Yeah, absolutely. Type of skin, scale, full fur, or feathers? Scales. Scales. Fabulous. You guys are on it. Oh, uh, wrong. Bigger or smaller than a person? Smaller. Oh, we're going to write both. I love that because it, it does. Yes, absolutely. Fish it depends. Can be bigger than a human. Yeah. Some fish can be bigger than a human. This fish on the screen right now is definitely smaller than a human, um, but some fish could be. So we're going to write both. I think that's a fair answer. Uh, what kind yeah, of big shark? Yeah. Well, that's How a tricky one. Human? Sharks are a tricky one. Sharks are tricky. Um, sharks are not fish. Yeah, thank you. Sharks are not fish. Shark sharks would have what kind of babies? Yeah, but they look eggs. like fish. They do look what? like fish. And sharks do not lay eggs. Who said that? Yeah, live babies. Yeah, yeah. Sharks have live babies, you guys. All right, it's so cool. All right, but if we're talking about normal fish, what kind of fish are, are what kind of babies are they going to have? Eggs or live? What? Eggs. Okay eggs yeah exactly all right here's our first egg they left. have little red eggs yep some of them do yeah yeah what's it called if you eat that kind of little red egg the larvae uh no it's called caviar super caviar. Caviar. i don't eat baby eggs yeah no i don't either i've actually never had caviar but you know you can do it it's crazy people eat it okay let's look <laughs> okay we're gonna look at our last one guys our bird okay land sea or air air, air. 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 All right, air. air. Fabulous. Type of skin, fur, fe fur feather, or feathers. 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 Yeah. <laughs> this is one animal. Actually, that's not true. I was just about to say this is one animal I don't have, but I have chickens and I have ducks and a turkey. So I definitely have birds. In the backyard. You have so many animals. I have so many animals. It's not even funny. We you live on a farm? Yes, I live on a farm. Can you believe it? It's so crazy. I'll have yes, to you, li you live in the barn part. Yeah, sometimes I want to live in my barn. Um, <laughs> then my kids yes, would never find me. Be... They would be like, where's mom? She's hiding in the barn. Dun, dun, dun. You know? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Birds. We're back to birds. Bigger or smaller than a person? Smaller. I'm going to say smaller. <laughs> I, I, it could I, be maybe the biggest eagle in the world. And oh, Gio said that. I can tell. Gio, I know your voice now. I can't even see you. Eagles birds. are the biggest birds. Yeah. And so we're going to write smaller than a human because I don't think there's many birds that are bigger than a human. All right. Kind of babies. Living or eggs? Eggs. 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 Absolutely. That's how we eat chicken eggs, right? And duck eggs. All right. So let's take you a don't eat duck eggs. You, you um, eat chicken uh, eggs. I don't eat duck eggs. Okay. Everybody mute yourself. I loved hearing everybody talk, but now everybody mute yourself. So I don't have to do it. I can still hear someone. Okay. Thank you. You came first of all. You can definitely eat duck eggs. Okay. So you, some people um, only eat duck eggs and we have ducks and our ducks lay eggs and we eat them because they're super yummy and you can bake with them and they're just much bigger than a chicken egg. It's crazy. Okay. Miss Sarah. Uh, who said that? I did. Victoria. I don't know. Give me a name. Oh uh, yes. Victoria. Go ahead. Um, I saw her on the part. Participants, Abelina is not muted. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Um, Abelina, if you could mute yourself. But at this point, I can't hear anybody, so I don't really mind at this point. Okay. So first of all, you can eat duck eggs. Second of all, I want everybody to take 10 seconds. Count on your fingers. Okay. Just 
just nice and slowly. Wait, wait till I say start, hold on. But I want you to look at this chart, okay? Look at this chart that we quickly, quickly created. And what I want you to do is I want you to find me the two animals that you think are most alike, most the same, share the same qualities, okay? So we're gonna start. I'll do it on my fingers so you guys don't have to do it on your fingers while you are thinking, okay? So work quietly for 10 seconds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through our people and I'm going to choose three people. Three is always gonna be our key number as we're trying to share when we have such a group so big. Um, I'm going to choose three people to answer that question for me. The deal is if you have already answered a question today, you're gonna have to put your hand down. Okay, you're going to have to help me out a little bit. If you've already answered a joke or a question today, and then you got to put your hand down. So if you are raising your hand, that is because you want to tell me what two animals you think are most alike on this chart. Okay. I see Lainey. Lainey, you want to unmute yourself and tell me what two animals you think are most alike? A bear and a horse. Oh, a bear and a, there's actually no wrong answer. So you're not going to, I'm not going to be like wrong answer. Nope. That's a great answer, Lainey. Fabulous. I think, a bear, I think a bear and a horse have a lot of similarities too. Okay. Good job. Thanks, love. Turtle's the best answer. Turtle. Okay. So I am going to Aspen. I am so excited to see you. I haven't seen you so long in any of my classes. Aspen, do you want to unmute yourself and tell me what two animals you think are most alike? Um, cow and horse. Cow and a horse. Perfect. Exactly. Just like I said above to Lainey, you know, there's no wrong answer. I think that that's a perfect answer. Good job. A cow and a horse. Okay. Uh, and I missed you, Aspen. I'm so glad to see you. And you look very grown up since the last time I've seen you. you must have gotten a I'm five years old already. Five years old. You're like old already. I got it. Um, okay. So I'm not actually sure. I see a group of children and their Zoom name says Colt Kalchin. Maybe something like that. How about Calcic. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. My I apologize. You guys go and why would you tell me as a group what two animals do you think are most similar? A bear and a cow. Well, a bear and a cow. Okay. And whale right. and fish. Oh, a whale and a fish. Okay, fabulous. Horse and cow. Horse and cow. Okay, so we got three different answers there. All right, fabulous. I like won the jackpot by asking you guys because I got three answers. All right, great. Um, thank you for sharing guys. Those are all great answers. Um, and I want us to go back and look at the chart. I have to move your little pretty little faces again so I can see the chart myself again. So we had, we had a lot of different answers. And again, like I said, there's no wrong answer. What I did see is a lot of, let me get my, so I can draw for you guys a little bit because I know how to do that now. It's kind of crazy. So um, when I look at this, I see these two right here, right? A bear and a cow and they share all the same things. But then when I look down, I see a horse has the same things as well. They all live on the land. They all have fur. They're all bigger than a human. They all give birth to live young, okay? So this is the idea um, as we start to look in how you, um, how you categorize animals, this is a perfect way to start, okay? We started looking at four simple questions and we looked at a few different animals and we could put them kind of into categories and say, these are kind of alike. And these are kind of alike, right? So you guys are already becoming taxonomists. You guys are already learning how to do this work, all right? So this is exactly what we were talking about. Choose the two animals from the chart that you think are most similar. Um, can you think of any other animals that would fit into the same category? So I'm gonna give you a chance to do that. So let's take the category that had the most, right? So we kind of said, what was it? Cow, bear, and horse, right? They live on land, they're bigger than animal or bigger than humans, they give birth to live young and they have fur. So raise your hand if you have not had a chance 
on anything else yet. If you want to tell me another animal that would fit into that category. Okay, another animal that would fit into the same category as we're saying cow, horse, and bear. All right. Bear. I, I see Naomi. Naomi, can you tell me another animal that might fit into that category? Me. Oh, Naomi, you gotta unmute yourself, love. Can you show me the chart? Oh yeah, let me go back really quick. Oh, oh. Um Okay. There we go. So there's your chart, but I deleted all the information already. So we're talking about a bear. Okay. We're talking about the cow and we're talking about a horse, these top three up here. Okay. Now, what other kind of animal do you know in, even in your everyday life that might fit into Buffalo. this category? Mm -hmm. or, or fit into okay. some of the category. It doesn't have to fit into all four of the questions. Okay. Um, can I just like name it on the chart? Shh. Can you do what, Naomi? Can I name what? an animal not on the chart? Yes, yes, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to name an animal not on the chart. Well, so specifically for me, I would say a llama. Oh, that's fabulous. Naomi, really? that's a fabulous, really? fabulous animal to add. Um, they I'm gonna name my teach I'm name my fish Bobby. <laughs> oh yeah? I'm not what? sure who said that, but Okay. Um, all right. Hold on really quick. That is a fabulous, um, that's a fabulous answer, Naomi. Good job. Okay. Does anybody else want to name an animal that would fit into that category? If you have already had a chance, put your hand down. Okay. I see Catherine Decker. Catherine, do you want to name an animal that might fit into that category? You have to unmute yourself or have adult near you, unmute yourself. Wow. I wonder if she misunderstood and thought she was supposed to be there at 1115. Hey, Kelly, Kelly, like Kelly, your daughter is not muted. I can hear you. And I know that's your voice. <laughs> uh, Catherine, did you want to answer, Liv? You have to unmute yourself. Do you know how to unmute yourself? No, you don't. Okay. Um, Sarah? Oh, yeah. Hold on really quick. Oh, there's somebody's coming to help Catherine. All right. Let's see. All right, Catherine, I can hear you now. I'm going to name have... my fish Lelloe. You're going to name your fish Lelloe? All right. <laughs> Do you have an animal that would fit into the category that we're talking about? If it lives on land, it has fur, it's bigger than a human, and it gives birth to live young. Do you Teacher, know somebody? I, I haven't had a turn to talk. Nope, you got whoever's talking has got to mute yourself until you get called on, okay? Alligator? Oh, alligator, okay, that might fit. It might fit into some of the categories. I know that alligators are bigger than people, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of the scary part of alligators. They, do they give birth to live young? Who can answer that question? No, they don't give birth to live young. Nope, they lay eggs. They do they have fur? Nope, they don't have fur. They would fit in the category with fish and probably the whale. Yeah, probably. You're right. Yeah, that's a good animal though, Catherine. And this is how we learn to be a scientist. We answer or we ask questions and we say questions without worrying about being wrong. We just give information and we figure it out later, and that's okay. Thank you, Catherine, for giving an answer. Okay, so we are going to move on um, to this part. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of boring history, okay? A little bit of boring history. This guy right here, he says, we need to get all of these animals organized, all right? So back in the 18th century, there was a Swedish guy named Carolus Linnaeus. He thought it was important to organize these living things and he developed a sy system to do just that. He started out interested in plants, but he ended up ordering all life as he knew it. Everything that's living, plants, animals, everything, okay? We still use an essence of his system today. Scientists are constantly refining the system based on new knowledge because we are always learning. We're always learning about new animals and new characteristics of old animals. 
So who knows, maybe you will make a change in how animals are organized. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're studying it and we're learning it so that you guys can potentially make differences in this category of science as well. So putting animals in order like this is called taxonomy. The taxonomist, people who name animals, use a book called the International Code of Zoological, I can't say this word, ready? Nomenclature. So as a short, it's the ICZN, and it tells us the rules of classifying animals, okay? That's a lot of a lot of history and a lot of boringness, but basically there's a really cool guy and he said, you know what? I'm tired of all of our animals being so disorganized and our plants being so disorganized. So we're gonna start grouping them together based on some of their characteristics, okay? So that's what we're gonna learn about today. So here's Linnaeus's, that's the guy's last name. Here is his seven levels of categorizing all living things, okay? And this gonna, if you have never seen it before, it can feel a little overwhelming, but we are going to learn them together and we're gonna learn how to memorize them together, okay? So our seven categories are kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. That's a lot of information. Okay, guys, that is a lot. So we're going to have to break this down a little bit because I know I'm not going to remember it like that. Raise your hand if you know you're not going to remember it like that. Yeah, it's going to be too much, right? So we need to come up with some tricks. All right, we're going to come up with some tricks. Here are some ways that you could potentially remember how to say these things. Ready? <clears throat> Get my good voice on. King Philip. Come out for goodness sake. Now look at this. Kingdom, phylum. What is the C? Who remembers? Go back, class, you see? Kingdom, phylum, class, order. Does anyone remember the F? Family. Family, very good. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus. Genus. Yeah and species, all right? So you could say <clears throat> in your best king voice, King Philip, come out for goodness sake. And that could help you remember how to order all of these seven classifications. Or you could say down here on the left corner, king penguins congregate on frozen ground sometimes. Okay, king Penguins, they're very big. We found out that they're bigger than four feet tall. Most of you are shorter than a king penguin. King penguins congregate on frozen ground sometimes. Again, kingdom, phylum, oops, class, order, family, genus, and species, right? These are all really cool ways to try to remember the seven orders. Okay. So I want everyone, I want us to go back, back one. I want everybody to unmute, but you have to be very quiet. Everybody unmute. What? What? Oh. On the count of three, we're going to go through them together. Okay, ready? One. Two, three. family, Wow, that was like conducting music. You guys did so fabulous, and then you stopped exactly when I said to stop. All right, let's try this again. One more time on the count of three. You got to be quiet till we get to the count of three. Right in my eyes. <laughs> it's actually Kingdom. 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 Um, class. Order. Family. And species. Woo! You guys are going to Okay, everybody mute yourself. Everybody mute. Everybody mute. Everybody mute. Everybody mute. <laughs> Everybody mute. Everybody mute. I can hear everybody. Oh my gosh, you guys are absolutely amazing. There are so many people on this class and you guys did so fabulous. 
Okay, so remember, <clears throat> this is my favorite one. That's why I keep using it. King Philip, come out for goodness sake. So everybody say it, <clears throat> but you gotta tap your chest like this, like you're <clears throat> getting ready, ready? <clears throat> King Philip, come out for goodness sake. Yeah, that's how we remember it, okay? Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. All right, man, you guys are awesome. We're gonna keep going over this every class, okay? So you're gonna remember it, I know you will. All right, moving on. So the levels start out really broad. You can see kingdom is way up on top, okay? That means the top level has the most animals and they get narrower and narrower as you go down. So by the time you get all the way down to species, there's only one animal in the group. And you can imagine if these animals were upside down. Okay, so let's take a look at what this means. So let's look at this. In the kingdom up here on top, Animalia, all of these animals, anything that's an animal fits under there, okay? Phylum, Chordata, that means all the animals that have a backbone, okay? That's what that means. Class, Mammalia, all of the animals that are, anybody know? Mammals. Mammals, yeah, fabulous. You guys are awesome. Order carnivora. What does that mean? Carnivore. Carnivore. So then it's only the animals that are carnivores. Okay. And as it goes down and down and down, what are we left with? What animal is that? Wolf. A wolf. Yeah. So wolf. the species is a canis lupus. That's a type of wolf. So there's only one. There's only one. So we started with all the animals up in the kingdom, okay? And we got all the way down to one single species of a wolf. Pretty amazing. This is exactly how we organize it all, okay? A wolf went down all the way. Yeah, it's true. If you go back, it's very true. You see wolf started up here because it's an animal. It has a backbone. It's a mammal. It's a carnivore, right? All the way down to where it's the exact species of that wolf. Yeah, you're very right. Okay, so we can look at it with another animal. Oh, it's so cute, right? It's a little chipmunk, okay? So again, the kingdom is Animalia. It's an animal, got it, we understand. Phylum, Chordata, same thing as a backbone. We just talked about with that with the wolf. Class, Mammalia, has a backbone and it nurses young. And then we go down to Rodentia and then all the way down to a specific species of an Easter, Eastern chipmunk. And it has a backbone, it nurses its young, it it's long, it has sharp front teeth, it has a bushy tail, it climbs trees, and this specific little like chipmunk has stripes. So not all chipmunks do, but this one does. And that's how we got all the way down to that species, all right? Okay, so we're gonna play a game. I'm not sure how this is gonna work with so many people in this class, but we are going to try our best. Everybody got it? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little more classifying, but I'm gonna need your help, okay? As we go along, um, there's going to be questions and we're going to have to answer them together, okay? The nice thing is you can answer um, you can answer multiple different ways. You can either answer in the group chat if that's easier for you and you know how to do that. And if you don't know how to answer in the group chat, you can use your fingers on this one, okay? So number one means yes. Number two means no. Got it? Yes, no, yes, no. Tell me if you got it with your fingers. Yes or no? Yeah, fabulous, okay. So yes or no. So these are yes or no questions that are gonna guide us into categorizing these animals, okay? Here we go. Let's look at question number one. Do you have a backbone? Hmm, yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, so I'm seeing no, fabulous. So that means we go down to question number two. Do you change metamorphosis from a caterpillar to an adult, yes or no? Does this type of animal yeah. does it change? Yes, it does, right? So do you see right here? We categorize it, that's it. That's the very end for this one. Yes, you are a butterfly. You guys did a fabulous job. That was the easiest one. I gave you the easiest one first because, you know, we have to make sure we can do it together. Sometimes I have to question myself too. All right, we're next. 
next one. Okay. Back to question number one. Do you have a backbone? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So it says go to number three. Do you have gills and scales? Mm, gills and scales. I'm going to say no on that one, right? So we go to number four. Do you lay eggs? Hmm. Do we lay eggs? Yes. Fabulous. We go to number five. Do you have feathers? Uh, definitely not. No, that's a no, right? So we go down to number six. Do you lay eggs in the water? Hmm. Yeah. Do we lay eggs in the water? Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Fabulous. Let's go down to number seven. Okay. Do you live on land, but come back to the water to lay your eggs? Hmm. I'm going to say no to that one because it's actually a frog. So it can kind of do both. Right? So what happens if we say no, what is our answer? We are a, it's called a pickler frog, a pickler frog. That's what that is. I know kind of interesting. All right. So you guys did a fabulous job. Are we getting, are we getting used to it now? Do you think we can keep going? We can go to the harder no. animals now? No. Dash, what do you think? Ernie, what do you think? Victoria? Yeah. I think we should go on to the harder yeah. animals. Aspen, are you ready for the harder animals? Aspen, all right. Colt family, I'm just gonna say Colt family because I can't remember your last name. I can't remember how to say it and I don't wanna butcher it. So you're just getting the Colt family, okay? I hope that's okay. No, uh, I'm not ready. Who said that? Who said they're not ready? I can't find your face. Oh, no. Aspen, Aspen said I'm not lucky. Aspen, you're you're not telling the truth. All right, Parker, you ready? Faith and Grace, are we ready for the harder one? Yes. Lamb, James. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> I bet this isn't going to be so hard. Do you have a backbone? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Yes. What are we looking at right here? This is a bird. Does a bird have a backbone? Yes. Yes, a yeah. bird has a backbone. We should be on a one. Everybody should have a one. A bird has a backbone, okay? So we are going to number three. Do you have gills and scales? Uh, no, definitely not, right? No. We go to number four. Do you lay eggs? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, fabulous. Okay, so we're going to number five. Do you have feathers? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Ab Abby, I saw you almost say no. You can't say no. Birds have feathers. You know that, Abby. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know, love. I know you know. I'm just teasing you. I'm just giving you a hard time. Yes. So we're at number five and we are a bird. You guys did it correct again. All right. I think I'm going to go to the harder one. Actually, I think this is a hard one to tell you the truth. Now, I think this is where you guys are going to have some questions. Do snakes yes or no, have backbones? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Mm. I see a mix. I see some yeses. I, I, I see some no's. I'm going to break it to you guys. Snakes do have backbones. <laughs> Okay. So we're going to go down to number three. Do you have gills and scales? Do they have gills and scales? No, they do not have gills and scales. We're going to number four. Do you lay eggs? They do have scales. Uh, but they, mm, they don't have gills though. And the, the question is, you have gills and scales, right? So we're going to have to say no to that and go to number four. Do you lay eggs? Do they lay eggs? Yeah. Yes. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, so we go down to number five. Do you have feathers? No, no. definitely not. Mm -mm. Do you lay eggs in the water? Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Do, I think. Do you have a, so we're going down to number eight. Do you have a protective shell? No. Oh. No. no. So you are a? Snake. 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 So we were definitely right by saying that the snake has, has or has not, yes or no to a, a, a backbone on a snake. Yes or no? 
have backbones. We should be saying yes, they have a backbone. I wish that I had someone home with me right now, another adult, because I also have snakes at my house and I would bring you a snake to show, but I don't have another mm -hmm. adult to go get the snake for me. So I do not understand how they slither around and still have a backbone. Yeah, well, they have little tiny itty bitty vertebrae. So it allows their body to move. Could you imagine that'd be like uh -huh. a worm on the, flat, the floor like this all the time, right? If I could slither, then I can slither. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah that would be so crazy. That would be so crazy. All right. I think we only have, I think we're going to skip one because we, what time is it, guys? Oh my gosh, it's already light. Who knows what animal is? A moose. Yeah, it's a moose. Yeah. <laughs> moose. And we, we got a turtle. Excuse me, yeah. can I tell a fact about mammals? Um, just a little bit, Michaela. Just a little bit. And then we have, look at this adorable uh, raccoon. 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 I hate yeah, raccoons. Raccoon. Yep. And then a fox. And so fox. I know. I'm actually going to send you guys this, this information. So when we're done with class, you guys can actually go over it. If you want to do it on your own, you can do the rest of them on your own. And ask yourself the questions as you go down and see if you figured it out right. Okay. What I need everybody to do, and this is super important, I do need you to mute yourselves again because we're going to watch a quick video. Okay. okay. So make sure everybody is muted because I can't start the video until everybody is muted. I'm going to go through and see. Uh, I think we just have. Um, Isabella, can you mute you guys? Is that possible? If not, you guys just stay real. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. No problem. Yeah, I, I can tell I can't hear you anyway, so it's okay, love. Um, let me just make sure everybody else is muted. That way everybody can hear the video really well, okay? Oh, gosh darn it, I keep going backwards. Okay, now, there's a question on this page, and I am going to be shocked. I like, pew, Gio likes to do mind blown all the time. I'm going to be mind blown if anyone knows what a bramp is. Bramp. Is it? Now, my children better not unmute themselves and tell because they know what it is because they watched me make this class. B-R-A-M-F. B-R-A-M-F. Does anyone know what BRAMF is? N-O. Cool. Okay. I, I, I'm not even going to let you guess because I don't want you to ruin it. We're going to watch this short little video and it's going to tell you what BRAMF is, okay? But I need everybody to stay on mute so everybody can hear the video. Super important. Okay, guys. And hopefully my computer, we all know sometimes my computer is like, yeah, just kidding. I'm not going to let you play the video. So hopefully it will do it. Okay. Let's see. I think that this part is an ad. We all know that it just has to happen these days. So we're going to wait till I can skip it. And then we'll go to the big version so everybody can see. And then I'll turn it up. Okay, here we go. Tune in to learn it. I love this song, guys. We are mammals, warm blooded animals. Mammals are found everywhere. We give birth to live babies and we've all got some hair. Frogs are amphibians, jump be slimy, slippery things. They breathe on land and in water too. Eggs to tadpoles and tadpoles to little frogs as if they've got two lives. Birds, reptiles, amphibians and mammals and fish. Ram. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fish. Make sure you sing along if you know it, or if you can learn it. Cold-blooded vertebrates, that's what the reptiles are. They have dry skin. They're covered in scales. Komodo dragons and snakes and chameleons and dinosaurs were reptiles too. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fish. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fish. Ramp. Fish have gills, what do they use them for? They live in water, salty or sweet. 
Fish have scales and fins to help us swim and glide through the waters deep. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fish. Come on, guys, I know you can learn it. Ready? Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fish. Mammals and fish. Which have flat forgotten which class of bird it breaks once which fly through the sky. Yes, birds are the other one. Feb the jerk and tweedy ones, its feathers that make them birds. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fish. Come on, Amanda Downing and your kids. Birds, Let's go, guys. Let's hear those words. Reptiles, amphibians, and mammals, and fish. Oh, Birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals, and fish. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, 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 and fish. Birds, now, if I asked you what Bramph is, everybody should know what Bramph is, right? It's a sapient mammals and no, it's a fish. Reptiles, no, it's birds, reptiles, birds, reptiles, uh, amphibians, yeah. mammals, and fish. Yeah, right yeah. Okay, everybody, unmute yourself. We're gonna try. Everybody, oh. unmute. Oh. I can't hear you, Mister. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Peter. I can't hear you, Miss Sarah. All right, everybody's muted. Can you hear me, Victoria? Everybody's talking over you. Okay, everybody's got to be muted. Everybody's got to mute themselves. We had too much going on there, I think, right? Too much. All right, so Bramph. That's what we learned today, right? Birds, reptiles, amphibians, mammals, and fish. Okay, so what we're going to do, that's the end of our class, guys. Now you guys got some homework, all right? So you're going to have to tell your parents to check, your, check their emails, and I'm going to send you guys some homework. It's fun homework, okay? Nothing crazy. Don't worry. I promise. Um, we're going to, I'm going to send you an activity to do um, with um, categorizing animals, you know, like we did today. I'm going to send you a link for some fun online games for categorizing categorizing animals. Then I want you to come up with your own way to remember the category, the seven categories that we have put all living things into, right? The kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, right? Those are our seven. And we had some, <clears throat> some ideas that I can pass along. But if you can come up with your own, then next week when you come back to class, I want you to share them with me, okay? Um, and the other last thing, hold on. I know someone said, excuse me, hold on really quick. Let me finish. Is I'm going to send you the link to the Bramp song so you can practice it. Uh -huh. next week. Everybody can sing along and I'm not the only one singing. So, Sarah? Okay. Hold on really quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to um, stop sharing so that I can actually share you guys again. Okay, Very now well. it's your time. If you have a question, please raise your hand and I will try to answer it or something that you need to share with me. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go down the line the way I see it on my side, okay? Victoria, go ahead. Um, so, oh, um, um, I actually just wanted to say thank you for oh. doing the classes again. You're welcome, love. I missed you guys. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. It's been a few weeks since I've seen your faces. Thank you. Um, okay, it looks like Kamari has a question or a comment. Um, what, day, what, days, what days do we um, have class 
Every Tuesday. Tuesday is Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Today is Tuesday. It's next Tuesday. I won't see you Wait, until Tuesday at 11 o'clock Mountain Time. Mountain Time. Yes. Whoever said that, you are 100% correct. All right. Thank you, Kamari, for asking that good question. Dash, did you have a question? I have a joke. Okay. Not jokes yet. Hold on. Let me get through questions first. Okay. All right. Uh, Catherine, do you have a question? Okay. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Someone's there already. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, nope. Catherine disappeared. We're going to go to someone else really quick. Anybody else have a question or a comment? Um, Owen, uh, the Among Us. Go for it, buddy. So, with the email, if you could send it to my email account at onf20 at gmail, that would be amazing. You got it, buddy. I just wrote it down and I will make sure I send it to that one, okay? Oh, and like what it spelled. Right oh, here. got it. Like your name. Got it. I did. Okay. Fabulous, Owen. Thank you, bud. O W Y N M. Okay. Um, who else has Michaela? Go ahead. Michaela, we're not telling jokes yet, though. Okay. Um, I have a fact. Okay. Tell me your fact, love. Um, mammals, all mammals, dolphins are mammals, and you may not see it, but all mammals have fur. It's true. You are correct. All animals have at least a little bit of hair on their bodies. You are very correct. Thank you for sharing that, Michaela. Um, it looks like, Ernie, do you have a question? This is a fact, actually. Did okay. you know that the cheetah is not the fastest animal in the world? Please tell us, Ernie, who is? The pelican falcon. Ooh, no, that's a really good one. Rooney. Fabulous. Thank you, Ernie, for sharing that fact. Um, it looks like I'm trying to get through everybody. I know everybody, it looks like everybody has questions. James, Abby, and Layla, go ahead. What question do you guys have? Can I a question? I recognize what brief was. It's birds, reptiles, mammals, amphibians, and Fish. Fish. Yeah, right on, Abby. Good job. Yeah. Right on. All right. Uh, let's see. Looking for another hand that's raised. I uh, Faith and Grace. Looks like you guys have a question or a comment. Well, I have a fact, okay. and it's a good one. Okay. We're mammals. <laughs> We have hair. Oh, Grace, good job. We have hair. We give birth to life young. Yeah, you're right. Good job, Grace. We are mammals. Um, uh, let's see. Any more questions or concerns? I see the Colt family has their hands raised, and that's just what you're going to be from now on. Sorry, guys. Um, so just so you know, my um, dad's email is Colt underscore a underscore k at hotmail okay i was just going to send it to whoever registered for the class so i'll add that one though to it as well whoever registered to in this class is who's going to get the email okay okay thank you and then i'm going to ask you a question really quick um, have a not that you can't be in this class which is perfectly fine but how uh what grade are you in Liv? um what, what grade? Okay. You keep muting. Okay. So we're doing a middle school, high school series too. So I just wanted to make sure that maybe I'll send you that too. If you're in middle school, because it'll be a little bit um, more information. For you. Okay. I'm in sixth grade. So if you can email that to my mom. Was that Faith and Grace? No. Layla no. and Abby. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Layla and Abby, yeah, for sure. I'll get that to you guys too. That one will be starting for a couple of um, so you can still come to this one or you can do both. It's going to be on a different day, but we are going to have a middle and high school series too. Okay. <clears throat> um, Abelina, looks like you have a question. I have a joke. Okay. So I am going to allow 
two jokes because I have a question. Oh, I also have a joke. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Somebody said I have a question. Victoria. Victoria, go ahead, Victoria. Well, well, it's not really a question, but it's a funny face. Okay. Oh, that's a funny face. Yes, you are correct, Victoria. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay. So I have a I have a question too. I have a question. Okay, guys, hold on. Hold on. We're past 12 o'clock. And I have to um, I actually have to I actually have to be on a